I started writing Elon 1 in 1995. Uh, Elon means soul. It's a synonym for the word soul. It means full of soul. Um, I like a lot of um, hip-hop rap groups and soul musicians. Um, so I decided to look for a name that s symbolized the word soul and I found Elon in the uh, dictionary. I've always liked graffiti uh, since I was a kid. I used to like just see it around my hometown in Elizabeth, New Jersey, on the on the streets and everywhere. And uh, I was just always excited by noticing how many times you could see the same person's name appear throughout a city. Um, I always thought the art form was very cool, very like visually interesting. So uh, in high school, I met, met a few friends that got that were into it. They got me into it, and uh, we started painting together. Uh, what inspires me? Uh, I get inspired by uh, a lot of art, other artists. Um, now graffiti is a, is a worldwide movement, it's a community, so I really love seeing the work that other people do, how people started from like a small movement of writing on trains to this, the world's largest art movement ever. Um, so just seeing the evolution of what people are doing with this form of art is really interesting to me. Being a graffiti artist definitely inspires my uh, my design work in that I, you know, I, I try to use some of my work, my graffiti art in my design work, or I might be inspired by the color palettes and things like that. And I think it also works the other way around where I try to bring my design sensibilities into my murals, the walls that I paint by, just composing things in a way that are interesting. My process is always pretty much starts the same. I, I really love like sketching and drawing a lot. So um, with any project, you always start off with like a sketch. So whether that's pencil on a canvas or a spray can on a wall, it's really about just um, being familiar with your tools, learning how to use a spray can in the same way that you do a pencil. Um, so it's really just the, the initial outline is the beginning. Um, I usually plan my colors ahead of time, so I'll come to a wall or start a canvas with a color palette in mind or a particular idea about what I want to do. Um, and it's fun. Graffiti is a lot about layering. Um, lay so you will color a certain part in, um, you'll get the, that to look really great, but then you bring another layer over it. So in essence, you kind of feel like you messed it up, but it's all working towards a, a final product. Um, so you just kind of keep picking away at it until it's perfect. You know, I, I love I love using the spray can. It's my my tool of choice. Um, it's something that takes years to really learn how to master. Um, but at the same time, I just I love to draw. I love pencil and and, and not even using pen and ink. So it's something to me. There's just something about like a sharp pencil and a piece of paper that I love. Just kind of going at it and shading and you know and just kind of really being simple like that. It's hard to say what my favorite piece is just because I'm always trying to evolve my lettering style. So every time I do something, I can look back at it a few months later and say, oh, I should have changed this or I should have tweaked that. So um, my, in, a, in a lot of ways, my favorite piece is usually my most current piece because I feel like I'm starting to grow and evolve towards something bigger. Um, but I, you know, they're, they're all fun, they're all great. So I love just having a, a body of work that is now spanned like 20 years worth of walls um, and painting. Uh, so I love just kind of looking at all that collectively, but I also love to see uh, where it's going to go next. The beautiful decay to me is what happens when a graffiti artist encounters a space that is um, not in necessarily intended for art, like a gallery wall. When I'm in a creative slump, I just I love uh, just getting inspired to see what other people do. I go on Instagram, I'll look through some books and magazines or websites and just kind of seeing the work that other people are creating with the community is really motivating. Um, so I love kind of just being aware of what's going on out there in the art scene and kind of just uh, let that be uh, something that inspires me to contribute to the uh, evolution. I've showcased my work uh, up and down the East Coast, I've painted in uh, New, New Jersey, New York, Florida, um, Boston, you know, so really just up and down the East Coast and a few other locations here and there.
If I can paint anywhere in the world, I'd probably start um, local uh, with, I'd love to just paint like an entire New York City subway train. Um, just kind of going back to the roots of where it all started. Um, on a bigger scale, I'd love to paint, uh, you know, I don't know, just monumental places, places that are larger than life, uh, you know, the Hollywood sign, uh, the Great Wall of China, you know, things like that, anywhere that, uh, anywhere that, um, that I think uh, just could be memorable.